Let's return to the high seas and maybe the beach. Hello and welcome to the Battling Barrow and another terrain guide video. Yes, in this one, uh, my campaign is returning to the high seas and the coastal regions, so it's time to make some terrain for that. So in this, we will be making some ocean tiles. It look like we're on the ocean. But what about, do you remember those uh, sort of beach island tiles we made last year? How about something that transitions, transists from this to those? So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be making some lovely beach tiles that transist from the water to the island. These look great, but are surprisingly simple. So let's get on with it. So my plan of action is to take a sheet of chipboard, medium, that's one mil thick chipboard, add some paper kitchen towel onto it and glue it on and move it around with the brush to simulate waves. Um, so the first step is to cover the uh, surface in PVA glue. I knew this would lead to much warping and I was gonna try and deal with that later on. But for now, the plan is to cover it up in PVA glue and add in the paper towel. Once I've got the piece covered in the paper towel, it had this unfortunate cross in the middle. I should have maybe cut the paper towel down to size, hoping when it paints up and when I'm finished, that won't notice. Uh, the next stage is to wet it down uh, with water and glue, uh, really, ideally, which I realize in a bit, the sensible idea to use is my pre watered down PVA glue solution I have at hand all the time. But yes, <coughs> with it watered down, I then push the paper around to uh, create waves. And I think about how uh, the caustic effects of what waves go where they're sort of traveling in one direction. So I'm trying to push it in sort of that direction. Uh, so they all sort of, in this case, where we're looking at the screen right now, the waves are vertical. And here we go. I get the idea of using my pre watered down PVA glue and cover the whole lot. And of course, this will just lead to more warping. In fact, I've only been working on it for a few moments here, and you can already see it's warping already. But I was confident that hopefully, well, I wasn't actually confident. <laughs> I was not confident at all that I could sort the warping out, but I was just experimenting with this technique. Uh, and I just keep going and going, working it in. Just doing uh, this one, I don't want big waves, just want li little waves. This is where my big ship will sit upon, just to look like water. So I don't really want big waves, I still want to put stuff on top. Uh, where the two towels join there, I'm just creating a sort of a wave here just to disguise the fact that is where two towels join. And yeah, just carrying on working in. You've got plenty of working time, so no need to worry about it drying out. And okay, it is dry. I let it dry overnight and as expected, it is warped. This is a bow, uh, yeah. Okay, so the technique I'm going to use is to flip over and then just apply just standard PVA on the other side, not watered down. Uh, just standard, give it a good covering. Brush it in with a brush next to give it a complete even coating on the other side. And I wasn't too sure if the brush strokes had to go with the bend of the warp or not, I don't know if that would matter. At first I was just doing it opposite, say I'm doing it vertical, but my warp is more horizontal, so I just changed my mind and do it horizontal with the warp just in case. What I am making sure though, which I'm sure is much more important, is that it's a complete 100% coverage right up to the corners and the edges. I wasn't expecting much. Once I let it dry, and this is probably still not totally dry yet, but it is, you know, there's a little bit of a kink here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty straight. There's probably a bend here, and a little 
a little bit, but you know, I'm impressed. I would say this is acceptable because you know, I'm going to be putting a big, heavy, whacking ship on it. Uh, yeah, I might go over it again with more PVA. Perhaps I missed a bit here, but to be honest, it kind of adds to it anyway. It looks sort of adds to the waves, the undulation of the waves. So for now, I'm going to roll with it and just paint this one up. Uh, my plan is to have just two waves, two playing wave tiles, uh, that's all I'll ever need because my big ship sits in them, so this just for the characters can move around the ship and have some water, but I'm also going to make two more that transition to my island tiles I made last year, so it'd be water going up to the beach in the island tiles, so I can have two water tiles going up to two island tiles and then the island behind it. So basically in this video I'll be making four tiles, another one like this, and another one with the transition. So for the shore tiles, they will transition from my island tiles that I made last year to the water tiles we've just made. I'm going to use some foam in the same thickness as the island tiles. Here, ideally I'd use one bit. I've got two bits and I'll just fill this in and you won't notice it's covered in sand. But we're gonna transition from the island here and then from this point onwards down to the sea here. So it'll be a slope. I've made this two and a half, I guess I can make it three. It's arbitrary really, it's how much you want. I kind of wanted more sea than island, being I've got four island tiles. So that's why I chose two and a half and I think that will give a nice slope. And by slope I mean, so we'll go from here, it's two and a half point mark going sloping down to the bottom here and I'll use the hot wire cutter to do that. These are then glued onto the tile I then undergo them in brown, sand them and paint them in much the same way as the uh, beach desert tiles that I've made before. Uh, one exception is I come in with a black wash just along the shoreline and just do a sort of wavy black wash here to act as the wet sand. I then tissue paper this as the standard ocean tile, and but I also add bits of tissue that I shape into waves crashing along the beach and then another row sort of about halfway behind. There's no right or way to this, you just get some tissue paper mold it into a wave shape, add some glue to it and shape it with your brush. Of course I am going to have to do the PVA on the back side of the tile to uh, get rid of the warp. For the painting of the tiles I am going to try a sort of wet blend using for the deep ocean tiles I'm going to use uh, this regal blue um, from games uh, workshop Citadel Paints and Enchanted Blue and then for I'm just going to paint base coat it all in Regal Blue and then coming really wet blend water down blend of Enchanted Blue and sort of stipple it on all over. For the beach tiles I'm going to start off with the Regal Blue and Enchanted Blue method on one end so it blends in with those tiles, the previous tiles. But then as we get nearer to the beach I'm going to go lighter so it'll be entirely uh, Enchanted Blue going up to the beach then I shall do something similar but this time I'm going to use a turquoise colour. This is a Hawk Turquoise, an old colour. And then right on the tip uh, of the beach and on the waves itself I'm going to use this ice blue uh, to make it light and these are all really wet blended colors uh, method of painting once that has dried I am coming gonna come in with a super dry brush a super dry dry brush of white just picking up the raised areas and doing a heavy sort of stipple over sort of the waves on the beach tiles. Once all the paint's dry, we've got to make them look like water a bit, get a bit of, get a bit of shine onto it. So I've got some gloss Mod Podge. Normally I'd use matte Mod Podge for sealing things, but this is gloss, so I need a shine. And when I bought it, it come with these useful 
tools. So what I'm going to do is cover the whole piece in a coat of Mod Podge. On the waves, go thicker and heavier and sort of stipple it because I want to get some bubbles in there. So especially around the shoreline. Uh, and this tool does a great job of creating bubbles if you stipple it in. I will be doing multiple coats of this, uh, probably two or three coats of Mod Podge just to really get it nice and shiny. So whilst we're waiting for one of the layers of the Mod Podge to dry, we can um, add a bit more interest to the board. Um, I keep bits of green stuff, you know, if I make too much green stuff I sort of make different bits things out of them that I might use in the future and some of the things I made are these little sort of starfish and a shell so just paint it up and also in the recent crewman video uh, they have some conch shells on so I've got some of those painted up I'm gonna glue them in so uh, that is what I'm gonna do now just add a bit of just a little something to the board just a just to add it in, so put the uh, starfish there. I right, this board here, where this bit here, where the uh, sand did come in. I put the shell here. Shell here. Okay. Uh, awesome. Okay, that is where that lives. <laughs> Okay, so I've painted these on the sprue. I have to do a bit of touching up. Well, that's fine. Probably a uh, shell. Shell that there. Cool. And I'll do another one. So we've got four shells in the pack. This one, I don't want it too high up because it will interfere with the stacking of them, the storage of them. So I think it needs to be. I have to throw to the wind and we'll stick it here okay I shall leave this to dry now and when it's done dry and I think you'll have watery tiles like this shiny I don't know if you want to add varnish to them I haven't, I didn't see the point. They're really super shiny already. We can get it in. They just look even close up to me. It looks like waves. I know I have Mr. Magoo eyes, but yeah, so they're great. Uh, quickly show you. We'll have a look at them all set up in a moment. I'll have a look at the uh, beach tiles. Uh, here. Yeah, just super shiny. And where you go heavy with, and especially if you stip it in, it sort of goes a bit bubbly. Now I was going to use some water effects on the tips of the waves, but I really don't think I need to. So yeah, super, super happy with those. They fit together really well. Um, what I don't like about them, even when I'm trying to fix the warp at the bending, there's a bit of warpage here. So I'm trying to, get it to go back a flat but you know it is what it is if I did it again I might actually just use some six mil foam for the water and then some four mil foam to go that will add up to ten in total to slap down to the pitch but live and learn this was that would cost a lot more money this is a nice cheap way and there's an old school way of doing waves tissue paper waves been something's been going around since the 80s but yeah so, what I'll do is I'll set this up with some ships and a nice scene with a bit of gentle music and we can have a look at it. But that's it for this one. Thank you for watching.
until the next video guys stay safe take care bye bye